Hey everybody, it's Gus with Egypt Adventures Travel. I am at the metro station Mar Girgis, which is the station that travelers can stop at if they want to take in the sites at Coptic Cairo. I'm gonna show you in this video how you can easily take the metro in Cairo to get where you need to go quickly and cheaply. So let's get started. Let's head up the entrance to the station and I'll show you how to take the metro. I'm outside the entry to the metro right now. Every metro station that you go to is going to have some form of a security check. There's usually a metal detector that's not fo followed very closely or not really paid attention to, but there's almost always an x-ray scanner and they do check x-ray scans. It's really difficult to bring alcohol through the metro, so try not to do that. Otherwise, everything else in your bag, liquids, um, things like that should be okay. Super quick view of the baggage claim. They told me I had to stop recording. Here's the ticket window. Just be wary. If there's a long line, you might have to push in order to get your ticket. Here's what the ticket turnstile might look like. You insert your ticket, go through the bars, and then it comes out the back. Be sure you grab it and keep it. Outdoor metro stops like Mardegirgis will usually have a bridge that you can cross if you want to change direction of the metro car that you're going to get into. I have to go back toward downtown, so I'm going in the El Marek direction. So I'm currently on the bridge crossing over to the other side of the tracks. If you don't know which direction you need to go, you can look at one of the maps that I have linked. The last station is the station that they use to orient yourself when you're trying to figure out which direction you need to head in. Here's an example of a sign to help orient you to which direction your car will go. This sign is saying if I want to go to Halwen, I need to cross the tracks. Something to pay attention to is this sign behind me that says ladies and it has an icon of a woman. These cars are for women only. So if you are a guy like me, make sure that you go outside of the space in between the two signs because those cars are only reserved for women. And if you're a woman, feel free to ride in those cars if you want to ride in a car that has no men. Every metro stop is gonna have clearly marked signage in Arabic and English, like this sign behind me that tells you which station you're at. So when you're riding the metro, you can pay attention by looking out the window so that you always know which station you are at and how many stops you have before you reach your destination. Our train is arriving at the station. Try to let people get out before you get on. Although sometimes Egyptians can be a little bit pushy and try to jump on the car before people have been able to disembark. Try to get on as quickly as you can because the doors here shut fairly fast. Now that we're in the metro, you can see a sign behind me right here. Pretty much every metro car is going to have signage that is clearly marked in Arabic and English. Some of them on the older cars are a little bit worn off. But this is a great way where you can keep track of which stop you got off on, how many stops you need to go before you reach your destination, and then you can check the signage at each stop on your way to track your progress and to make sure you're heading in the right direction. Here's an example of a metro ticket. Note that ticket prices differ depending on which station you want to get off at. So tell the person when you're buying your ticket which station you will leave on. And just like inside any metro in the States, there's seating, but you want to give up those seats when you see somebody who looks like they might need it a little bit more than you need the seat. Luckily, it's during the day on a weekend, so the train is pretty empty, and I was able to get a seat right away. I got out at Sad Saglul Station, just outside of downtown Cairo. This is one of the underground stations in the metro, so it's a little bit different than one of the above ground stations like Margirgis where I got in, but there's still clear signage in each direction showing you where the exit is, and when you get to the exit points, showing you which exits are gonna take you out to which streets. Also make sure that you keep your ticket handy because you need to put your ticket back into the turnstile when you exit the station. Also, one more thing to note before we exit the station, if you need to transfer lines because you are at the Sadat station or the Ramsi station or the Atuba station, 
there's also gonna be clearly marked signs, usually in red, that are gonna tell you where you need to go to make those connections to the different metro lines. The turnstile to exit is exactly the same. The only difference is this one will keep your ticket after you insert it. Like I said, all of your exits are going to be clearly marked that say exit and also tell you what street or landmark the exit's for. But note that a lot of these exits, like this one, are actually going to be closed. So you might need to walk around for a little bit before you find an exit that's open for you to use. So now I'm outside of the exit at Saz Haglul Station and I'm ready to head to lunch. I'm Gus with Egypt Adventures Travel. I can't wait to take you to Egypt and take the metro with you and show you a lot of amazing things during your trip. Thanks for watching. Check us out on Instagram or Facebook at Egypt Adventures Travel or go to www.egyptadventurestravel.com.